What is up, you cool quadratic kids? Today we are going to talk about transforming parabolas or quadratic functions. All right. So we've already discussed in previous sections how to transform functions, but specifically we're going to look at transforming parabolas. All right, so right here, I'm going to start at looking at this function right here. I'm circling, and I have negative 4 times x plus 6 squared minus 8. Well, I feel like a lot of you guys like and notice that the 8, the negative 8 outside of the parentheses is going down because it's negative. If it was positive, it would be going up. Um, inside the parentheses, right, is x plus 6, which is being squared, right? Um, well, when it's inside the parentheses and it's positive, it is going left. Remember, it's the opposite of the x-axis. However, when it's negative, it would be going right. Um, Another one is we have the number 4. Technically, we have negative 4, but let's focus on the 4 first. Whenever it is a whole number, like 4, it is going to be your parabola is going to get more narrow. Whereas if it was a fraction, such as 1 half, it would get wider. All right, and then finally, now the negative sign, I know some of you guys are thinking it flips or it rotates over the x-axis. You're correct, but what's even nicer to think about when it is negative, your parabola is going to be open down, right? So this is negative. This is if it's negative. However, if it's positive, your parabola, the open side will be going up, positive. Almost looks like a smiley face. It's a positive parabola. All right, so if it is, there's a negative sign in front of your uh, coefficient, it will be going down, your leading coefficient. And if you look to your right on your screen, I, I actually graphed it in the graphing calculator to just give you an image, and that is something it should look like. So hopefully that helps you out. All right, so let's look at a couple problems and try to put this into action. So for the first example says, how does the graph g of x equal negative 1 half times x minus 5 squared plus 6 compared to the parent function of f of x squared? Well, first thing we notice, I see a positive 6, right? So that must mean this is going up. So I'm going to look for all questions that say up, and unfortunately, all a, b, c, d choices all say up. So let's look at the next Thing in line and I'm going to look to see if it goes left or right. This is negative. So if it is negative, it must be going right. So if it's going right, is there any options that can lower that? And I see right five, right? And uh, C and D both say right five and B says right five, but A is left. So let's cross that off. Uh, what else do we see? We see one half. Well, if it's one half, that must mean it's getting wider. Right, because it's a fraction. So if it's getting wider, uh, it can't be B because B says narrow, and uh oh, C and D both say wider. Well, let's think about this. It's negative. So if it's negative, the parabola must be going the wider side or must be opening going down, right? And if it's opening going down, it must be C. And just to show you, I did in the graphing calculator. I plugged them in both. If you look, the red one is your x squared, and your black function is going to be your g of x, which is one, negative 1 half times x minus 5 squared plus 6. All right? Let's look at example 2. Let's look at another example. It says, if the original function x squared plus 7 is shifted to the right, all right, so it's shifted to the right. I like to underline or highlight these things. To make the function g of x, write an equation that represents g of x. Oh, well, this is nice because it only has one transformation, right? So let's write our g of x. And then if it's shifted to the right, that means my x is going to have parentheses and it's going to be squared. And if it's to the right, you know it's going to be 2. And I'm going to say it is going to be negative, right? Because if it's minus 2, it's going to the right. And nothing, it didn't go up or down, nothing else happened. So I would say g of x equals x minus 2 squared plus 7. Again, just for 
you to look on your graphing calculator. I plugged them in and notice, look for my f of x is my purple one and my g of x is my green line and it just so happened just to move two units to the right. All right, for the final example, this is a little trickier because they're telling you that g of x equals x squared, right? The parent function g of x equals x squared. But we're looking for the equation of f of x. And f of x is already drawn here on here. So we have to find the transformation from g of x to f of x, okay? Well, when in doubt, graph it out, all right? And if you go, let's see here. I started my graph. I did uh, my g of x squared. I put x squared in my graphing calculator. And look, just to quickly, if we remember, I'm just going to hit control T to find some basic points. And I'm going to look for the vertex, right? The middle number in between the twin numbers. And I'm just going to quickly draw an f of x. So I have zero. It looks like a 1, 1, uh, negative 1, 1. And then I have negative 2, 4, negative 2, 4, and then 2, 4. And that's good enough to move on to see here. We have this. And mind my beautiful drawing of a parabola. All right, I'm going to look at these. Well, it didn't flip, so I don't need a negative sign, right? Because my parabola is still going up. Um, it doesn't look like it got wider and narrower. However... It does look like it did go down. So I'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, it went down by. So I'd say it went down by six. And it looks like it went right to one. All right. So if it went down by six and right by one, then we can write this as, remember, x squared is the parent function. So I'm going to put x in parentheses because we're going right by one. So it's going to be minus one squared. And if it's going down by 6, that must be minus 6. So from our transformation, we have f of x equals x minus 1 squared minus 6. Guys, I hope this video was informative and helpful. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, goodbye.